Hey guys, it is Cole here, and in today's video, we are going to do the long-awaited college football preview video. So, yeah, before we get into it, quick announcement. School started, which I think I told you guys, but... Well, yeah, I did a video about the first day of school. Okay. School started, and we got our computers back, so I am filming this video on my computer. This is going to be the first video since like June or something that is recorded on my computer. I'm pretty excited and college football starts tomorrow by the time I'm recording this. This is a video that's being done on Friday, August 27th. Nebraska versus Illinois. The first game of college football is on August 28th. Woo! Let's go. All right. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're going to be doing the five major conferences in college football, Pac-12, ACC, SEC, Big Ten, Big 12. We got it. So, yeah, um, that's what we're going to be doing today, and I'll see you guys in the video. Alright, so, conference number one. We're going to start off with the SEC. So, in the SEC, I'm going to tell you guys who I think is going to win each division. I think the, what, yeah, the West Division includes Alabama, Texas A&M, LSU. You could say all the good teams except for Florida and Georgia, and I would not be offended but I'm a Miami fan, and that's unrelated. So, yeah. That's what we're going to be doing today. So, let's start with the West Division. Our top three teams probably go by the likes of Alabama, Texas A&M, and LSU. So, who do I think is going to win this division? That's a good question, and I'll ask myself. Okay, I'm being sidetracked here. But, yeah, anyways, I think that Alabama will win this division. Here's why. I think they're going to win it over Texas A&M because people. Really, Alabama, who cares that like 16 billion people on their team got drafted? We know that they're going to restock. They have to restock because they're Alabama. What I mean by restock is like get more good players. I mean, their quarterback is, I think, Bryce Young. Yeah, I think he goes by the name of Bryce Young. So, I mean, let's be real. He has to be good if he's going to start at Alabama. I think Alabama is going to win the West division here. So, in the East, we have basically two teams, Florida and Georgia. Here is why I think that the winner of the East division this year is... Georgia. Here's why. So Georgia, Georgia has, I mean, at least at the quarterback position, they have JT Daniels, very experienced quarterback, and he's a pretty good quarterback as well. So Florida, on the other hand, Florida has, I think Emory Jones is going to be their starting quarterback. I mean, Kyle Trask was pretty good until he got to the bowl game against Oklahoma, and then that was, that was something else. But yeah, so, basically, Georgia has the more experienced quarterback. Emory Jones doesn't love to pass that much. It's more of a running quarterback from what I can tell. So, I think that Georgia will take this division. So, now we've got a championship of Alabama versus Georgia. And my winner for the SEC this year is Alabama. Okay. People, we know they're going to restock. Like, Stop saying that if 10 players get drafted from Alabama, they're going to be bad. No, no, that's not how that's not how it works. Yeah, Alabama, I think they're going to be really good this year. First week against Miami. We'll get to them in a little bit. But yeah, um first week against Miami, which is my personal favorite school. We'll get to the ACC predictions in a little bit. But yeah, I've got Alabama winning this division this year, and I think next 
we'll go to the Big Ten. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when we do that. Here we go, Big Ten predictions for 2021. Let's do it. Alright, so in the Big Ten, we have two divisions. Pretty typical. So, yeah, we have two divisions. The first one is the East. And in the East Division, I don't know why I'm like out of breath or something. I don't know. That is, I don't know. That's unrelated. That's what we call it. So, yeah, in the Big Ten East Division, our three best teams are probably going to be Ohio State, Indiana, and a sneaky pick that actually might be pretty good this year, although they had a bad year last year, Penn State. Penn State, I think they're going to be better this year. I mean, traditionally, pretty good program, and I think their head coach, James Franklin, knows how to coach a football team pretty well. I mean, they had Trace McSorley, the GOAT. Oh, yeah. Um, No, that's, yeah. And then they had um, Saquon Barkley, who is actually a good running back, if he's not injured. So, yeah, that's another story for another day. But, yeah, I, I've said that a lot this video. Yeah, so, in the East Division, let's just get to the prediction, and then I'll explain why. I've gone with Ohio State to win this division. Their quarterback is going to be, let's see, I think C.J. Stroud, it's going to be a freshman. So this team, actually one of the least experienced teams in college football, but it's Ohio State. It's a similar case with Alabama. I think they'll have little problems restocking the team, blah, blah, blah. You got the drill. And I think they have a pretty good chance at winning the Big Ten Conference overall. Now we go to the West Division. The West Division's three best teams... Wisconsin, Iowa, Northwestern. This is traditionally probably the worst division out of the two. So, yeah, in this division, Wisconsin um, looking like a pretty good team this year with an experienced quarterback by the name of Graham Mertz. We've got Iowa with Spencer Petras. He is Spencer Petras. Spencer Petras, that's his name. He is a returning starter, but I'm not sure how good he is. And then Northwestern, Spencer, if you're watching this video, like, he, you're good, but like, I, I don't know how good you are, but yeah. Okay, and then Northwestern, well yeah, Spencer Petrus would never watch this video. Yes. I'm getting sidetracked. And then Northwestern starting quarterback, actually not going to be South Carolina transfer Ryan Helinski, but it will be Hunter Johnson, who was on the team before, I do believe. So, yeah, I will take, I'm going to go Wisconsin to win this division. Wisconsin had a rough year last year, but I think that's behind them. They've got a good, pretty experienced team this year. And, yeah, I think they have what it takes to win this division. So, yeah, we're going to go with Ohio State versus Wisconsin and the Big Ten Championship. And my Big Ten winner is Ohio State. So, yeah, Ohio State, I think they're going to win this division and might be a little bit of a challenge. We'll see. But, yeah, Ohio State, I think they'll win this conference for the Big Ten. Next, we will go, how about the Big 12? So, yeah, Big 12 is next. We'll see you guys then. Alright, Big 12 is next, so in this conference there are no divisions, everyone in the conference plays just about everyone else, so yeah, let's just get right to my predictions, we're going to make these a little bit quicker, so yeah, I just told myself that. So yeah, um, my, so how this works basically is the top two teams in the conference, in conference record wise, will go to the championship, they'll play it out. And the winner of that game will win the championship. Not too hard, I don't think. So, yeah, let's just get straight to my predictions for who's going to be the top two teams in this conference. Number one, Oklahoma. Not a very hard pick there. 
I mean, they have Spencer Rattler, returning quarterback, and I think he he is a like early season favorite for Heisman, I think. Like we're talking that much. Like we're talking big time here. So yeah, Spencer Rattler, he's a really good quarterback. I think he knows how to lead a team. If you don't believe me, go to last season. They did pretty good, I think. So, yeah, Oklahoma is my first team. My second team, Iowa State. Iowa State coming in as probably the most experienced team in the Big 12. They've got Brock Purdy starting quarterback. They've got Brees Hall, who was a phenomenal running back last year for the Cyclones. I think it'll be Oklahoma State versus Iowa State in the Big 12 championship. And my winner will be... I'm going to go with Oklahoma, but close. Iowa State has a good team. Oklahoma just edges them out. I think they've got Oklahoma. I think they've got a pretty good chance of making the CFP, especially if we're doing 12 teams. Then, yeah, I think so. And Iowa State, Iowa State could sneak in there, too. I Don't be surprised. I'm just saying. So, yeah, Big 12 is done. Now we will go to the ACC, which is... My team's conference, Miami. What do you think I'm wearing this hat? So, yeah. Um, we'll see you guys when we do the ACC. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, because of some time shortage and whatever the heck that is, my videos really can't go, like, above 15 minutes when they're recorded on my computer. So, we're going to have to split this video into parts. We've done three conferences so far, and then we'll do the other two when we get to part two of this video. So, that is going to do it for part one of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure to sub to my channel, Bobby's channel, and John's channel if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you guys in the next video.